Hi, I'm Dave Curlin. I'm the CEO of Objective Management Group, the leading provider of Salesforce valuations and sales candidate assessments. And I'm also the CEO of Curlin and Associates, as you can see on the slide. And in this presentation, I'm gonna ask whether a career in sales is right for you. Now, one of the things that's always frustrated me is that at career night at school, School sales is never one of the options. And guidance counselors never pull kids aside and say, hey, maybe you should go into sales. And if you're an adult and you're already working, one of the considerations is generally not, maybe I should transition to sales. There are 16 million salespeople working in the United States alone. More than 4 million of them are in business to business sales, but almost all of us got into sales by accident. So let's talk about a career in sales. Uh, I wrote the best-selling book, Baseline Selling, How to Become a Sales Superstar by Using What You Already Know About the Game of Baseball. I also write an award-winning blog called Understanding the Sales Force, so I know a little about sales. So let's talk about sales. Your reference point for sales might be influencing how you feel about sales in general. Uh, your reference point might be the car salesperson who sold you or your parents a car. It might be the salesperson who came to the house uh, to sell you cabinets or a roof or landscaping or a swimming pool. It might be the salesperson that you encountered in a retail store selling appliances or furniture. It could be a real estate agent who came to list your house or sell your parents a new house. And it could be the insurance salesperson who came to sell you life insurance or sell your parents life insurance. But these are all B2C salespeople, business to consumer salespeople. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's probably what your reference point is. And I want to talk to you about professional business to business sales, B2B sales, which is different. In B2B, you might be selling the latest technology or you might be working for a manufacturer, or you might be industrial sales. Channel sales is where you sell a manufacturer's problem, a product to a distributor who resells it. Uh, you could be in pharmaceutical. You could be selling medical products, sports equipment, music and arts. Any product that's sold from a business to a business qualifies as B2B sales. And the educational requirements might surprise you. The top 5% of all salespeople, only 57% of them have a degree. And if you widen the net and include the top 20% of all salespeople, only 47% have a degree. And for all salespeople, only 37% have a degree. So a degree isn't required. 50 universities offer a general sales man major. Now that's one way of saying it. The other way of saying it is of the thousands of colleges and universities, only 50 offer a general sales manager. And I have a URL here that you can follow that lists all the colleges that offer a general sales man major. NYU in New York is one of the well-known difficult to get into schools that offers a sales major. Let's talk a little about compensation. There are three primary types of compensation for salespeople. One is all salary, one is all commission, and the most popular is a base salary plus a commission. And of course, there are combinations of those. The range of income is pretty incredible too. A brand new salesperson can be earning forty to $65,000. The average salesperson earns $96,000. Industrial salespeople earn in the 75 and up range. Technology salespeople earn 135,000 plus. And if you're lucky enough to be selling yachts to wealthy people, you can earn more than $500,000 a year in sales. So one of the common sales roles in an area where a lot of salespeople start is inside sales, uh, working at a desk on the phone. 
and the average base salary is $57,000. Another entry level role is the BDR, the business development rep, who books appointments for more seasoned salespeople. Their average starting salary is $46,000. In pharmaceutical sales, you can earn $133,000 in total comp. In technology sales, as you can see from this graph, uh, the range is ninety dollars to $175,000 in total comp. And if you look at the uh, earnings in 2018 of the highest paid outside salespeople, people working in the territory, you can see the range went from less than fifty to over $375,000, but the sweet spot uh, was between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars, where forty percent of all salespeople fell. There are many growth paths in sales too. You can start at a trainee, work your way up through various sales roles, sales management roles. You can become a VP of sales and finally president of a company. There are other considerations. Are you an extrovert? Do you get energy from other people, or an introvert like me, where uh, to be with other people it causes you to use up your energy. Um, the advantage that introverts have is that since we're quiet, we're better listeners. The advantage that extroverts have is it's easier for them to make friends. Are you a STEM person or humanities person? If you're on the STEM side, uh, that's perfect for a job in finance or technology. If you're on the humanities side, that's perfect for a job selling anything that you want to sell. Are you book smart or street smart? Book smart, that allows you to learn the product really quickly. If you're street smart, that gives you an advantage because you can generally cut through the conversation, figure out what problem your prospect has and solve it. You'll be using CRM, customer relationship management software. That's the primary application that salespeople use to keep track and manage everything they're doing. Social media is used to reach out, to make contacts so you can schedule meetings with people. All the different video platforms that exist now for virtual selling and presenting virtually, that's a big part of selling. You'll need to develop knowledge of the product that you're gonna sell. You have to be likable, curious so that you'll ask questions. Listening and questioning skills are the two most important selling skills, not presentation skills and selling is very competitive. Pick me. You're always gonna have competition to sell what you're selling. So it's about beating your competition. It's about beating your colleagues, the salespeople on your own sales team, uh, beating your personal goals, the goals the company gives you, the quotas that you have to meet. It's about winning contests. Selling is not about demonstrating products and telling people about products. That's part of what you do, but that's not selling. That's presenting. It's a skill. It's not about having the best price. If selling were just about being able to present a product and have the lowest price, you'd be in retail and anybody could do it. Selling is about changing people's minds. People who weren't planning to buy from you, weren't planning to buy from your company, weren't planning to buy your product, but getting them to do that. That's what selling is. It's solving people's problems and getting paid for that. And it's about overcoming resistance. Resistance to being sold, resistance to your brand, your product, your company, you. That's what selling is. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. If you want, feel free to email me at dcurlin at curlinassociates.com.